Okay, let's have a class. And uh, first of all, everybody should have three plates. If you still remember, we did the spread plating. First plate, 10 to the 3. So let's talk about the results of spread plating. And you should have a first plate which is 10 to the 3. What it looks like? A big chunk of smear, like what I did. You cannot even see individual colony. So what do we say? T and TC indicate two numerable to count. Or you can just say too much to count. Okay, it's easy. Uh, two numerable to count. Numerable to count. Okay, let's look at 10 to the 5, 10 to the 5th. What it looks like? Something like this. You can see individual colony there start to show up. Is that still too many? Yes, it's still too many. So, that is again TN, TC. Now, let's look at your big deal, 10 to the 7th. You should look like the same as what I did. Can you see colony there? Okay, now you're gonna have to count. Okay, I saw somebody count. One, two, three, four. How do you know you counted? So, how are you gonna count? Everybody who graduated from kindergarten in Morgantown should know how to count. How are you gonna count? Have you Sharpie marker ready? Okay. Then go back at your other plates. This is the reason your label has to be on the edge. You cannot be right in the middle. How you do it? Whenever you count one, mark it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, see? Then we do 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then that's 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 50. 51, 52, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So uh, I have one on the side. So I get a I get a 59. And actually 61, 62. So I get a 62. What you get? 55. Okay, you get a 55. That's really good. Who else get? 76. Oh good. 76. Really nice. Who else have? 31, good. Who else? 44. 44, good. Who 83. else? 83. How many? 83. Okay, so, okay. That, that's all. First question. Are these numbers usable? Are these a good number? Yeah. Yeah, why? Yes. It is all a good number between 30 to 300. And you can see very big colony there. Is that right? That's very nice. This is the first time you get a numeration of the bacteria. Now we can check the average. Okay? We took the average of these. Let's do the mass. Okay, 117 added to 193 add this 244 uh, 224 224 then we add 3, Okay? Good. Okay, average. Sample one, sample two, sample three, sample four, four, five, six, divided by six. Okay, let's do that. Six, five, thirty, fifty-one, eight, uh, 
28. Okay, he caused 0.5. Is that good? So, a rich, approximately 59. So, what's the total population? This is, remember, this is the average. CFU on plates. What is your dilution factor? 10 to the 7, is that right? And this is the final dilution factor of the plates. So, how many total concentration of the bacteria? Remember, what we are talking about is CFU per ml equals 59 multiplied by 10 to the 7 CFU per ml Z equals 5.9 multiplied by 10 to the 8 CFU per ml. Then we need to transfer one thing. This number need to transfer to log 10. So how many? Approximately 8.7 log 10 CFU per ml. That means approximately 10 times 8.7 equals 5.9 multiplied by 10 to the 8. You can use a calculator. It's close. Now, there's a question. Why do we need to change to log? <coughs> okay, so this is a little bit of mess. Okay, how are we going to talk about that? I take this off because every different group will be different. So I took this off. We're going to talk about that mass. Okay, let's talk about that. I have two group of bacteria. I have group one. I have group two. Let's say I have 100 cell. I have 1,000 cell. I have 10,000 cell. I have 100,000 cell. Okay, let's say this is sample 1, sample 2, sample 3, sample 4. Okay, I have a group 2. I have 100,000 cell. I have 10,000 cell. I have 10 cell. Let's say this is, I have uh, 1 million cell, let's say. So here is a question. Can we do a statistics analysis and a comparison between these two groups? No, because the error is too much. And this is you learn in your statistics class. You can do it. It's not normally distributed, is that right? What is normal distribution? That is normal distribution. This is not. So you cannot do statistical analysis. The error is too large. So what we do? We add a log 10. We add a log 10 there. Add a log 10. Put a log 10. Then what it becomes? This is becomes 2. This is becomes 3. This is becomes 4. This is becomes 5. Same thing here, we add a log 10. This is becomes 5, log 10, this is becomes 4, we add a log 10, this is becomes 1, we add a log 10, this is becomes 6. So instead of we are comparing those giant numbers, what we are compare here is actually 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 1, 6. Now can we do the comparison? Yes, because it's normally distributed. That's the reason bacteria population, most of the time, we transfer them to log 10 CFU per unit. That could be per ml, could be per gram, could be per apple, per poultry. It depends. That's the reason we have to change to this log 10. However, 
In certain circumstances, it doesn't work. For example, if you have a ground beef, for E. coli 0157H7, it is zero tolerance. So you cannot talk about log, you have to talk about is one cell. That's a certain circumstances. But like these, a bacteria culture in the bloss, how many populations there? It's huge. We change them to log 10. So how many bacteria in here? Eight log. So always remember, a bacteria cell, a E. coli, growing in bloss media after 35 degrees Celsius, 24 hour, usually 8 to 9 log 10 CFU per ml. This is also we call it a typical vegetative cell. It is compared to biofilm on the surface. The number is huge. Okay, so that is how many bacteria cell there? More than one million, close to a billion. Okay, lots of bacteria cell there. That is tells you. Okay, today we're gonna to do is pore plating. The same procedure as before. So you do by yourself. How we do it? Everybody will get an E. coli culture. This is the E. coli grow at 35 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. There's a lot of bacteria there. Like this. First thing, what we do? See area dilution. So let's do a hundred fold see area dilution. Now how to do? Do you remember? You need to grab three dilution cube. These three dilution cube each containing 9.9 .9 ml 0.1% neutron bros. Okay, so we have it. And the original culture, we're going to add in 0.1 ml, which is 100 microliter using pipettes, and we mix it very well. So that tube number one is 10 to the 2. Cube number 2 is 10 to the 4. Cube number 3 is 10 to the 6. The same thing. So there we mix very well. We transfer another 100 microliter go to the second cube, so we mix very well. We transfer 100 microliter go to the third tube and mix very well. Now is something different. Instead of you get agar plates, what you're going to get today is empty petri dish. This is empty petri dish. These three are empty petri dish. Because we're going to add the bacteria culture there, we're going to add a melted agar. Of course, the first thing, don't forget, labeling. So what you gonna label? Bench number, name, final dilution factor, we are adding 100 microliters. So 10 times more than the tube dilution, okay? Same thing go here, 100 microliter. So you name, bench number, a dilution factor, this is 10 to the 5. Of course, you can write EC there, E column. Now, the last one goes here 100 microliter. Bench number, initial bacteria name, and the concentration. Oh, sorry, the dilution. Same thing from highest to lowest dilution. Only one 
five pairs, hip, and uh, yeah, only one pipette tip you add it. Okay? So you add it. After you add in, what we do? Hold 50 degrees Celsius melted agar. Around 20 to 25 ml. Approximately, then you have to mix well. Okay, today don't flip it over. And then we will incubate 35 degrees Celsius, 24 hour. Next Tuesday, you will see the results. But don't flip it over. Okay, everybody go ahead to do. How you do? Get your E. coli solution. Label your dilution tube, label your plates, do this dilution first. When you finish this dilution first, when you finish all this dilution, have your hands on, we are coming to do the pore plating for you. Otherwise, it's going to be a big mess. Make sure the melted agar is not on the bench, because otherwise you're putting French pudding on the surface, and your cultivation bacteria. So that's why we're gonna help you to do it, okay? So do the, get the E. coli, label tube, do the dilution first. Okay.